Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. When you truly take the time to listen to people speak, they come across as a broken record. That's how my father used to describe his children. Every day, our conversations were constantly filled with things that we thought that we needed in our life. And he would say, stop sounding like a broken record. Breaking the habit requires awareness and inner strength to tell those that we're talking with to stop talking about the same subjects. Every day when I go into the essential job, I do some show prepping. I really do. And I think it's the radio guy in me, but it's also the human being in me. Someone who doesn't want to sound like a broken record. So I go over the news headlines, what's going on in the sports world, the weather forecasts and entertainment news, just so I don't come across as that broken record. One of my coworkers, Ryan, not so much. It's the same questions over and over again. It's almost like he wants me to rewrite the story. And then there's Dave, who can't stop asking me why I feel no need to return to terrestrial radio. Those people on the outside don't understand the business as I experienced it. Dave is a broken record. What about you? Are you a broken record? Am I a broken record? Probably. Probably. In this day of turntables making a huge comeback, the music has got to change. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I'm also the silent wolf. I sit on the edges and I just watch. I listen. I study. I show prep so I don't have to be a broken record. This is The Daily Mess. Oh, there's a lot of promising going on these days. Promise this. Promise that. Promise isn't a positive word in my life and style. So much so that my wife and I, we didn't use the word promise in our wedding vows. 31 years ago, we guaranteed each other that we would never use the word promise. As of late, I keep hearing so many people whip out their promises. Whether it's a politician, a religious leader, the word is put into play because it's so easy to use and it has a way of calming anxiety. How do you react when a car salesman leans across that large wooden table and says, we promise to help make this a great experience? That's usually when I sit up straight and start listening for things that are going to go wrong. Recently, a rep from an appliance store was saying promises a little bit too much. When it came to paying for the item, he looked across that computer and he suddenly says, Oh, I know I promised you that we could have this delivered tomorrow. It looks like it's not going to be able to make it to your house for another week. And, and the ice maker, I, I know I promised to put that in there. Um, it, the one we have do, doesn't come with an ice maker or the capability of having one. Breaking a promise habit. See, the thing is, it starts with stop accepting the promise as a word, because promises are easily broken. Guarantees come with a warranty. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.